And another woman that could take your spot, my If I wrote you more Think it might be loud, y'all, because Today is Martin Luther King Day and I'm trying to be a good homeschool mom. <laughs> we are watching our friend Martin. I know we've all watched that in school at some point. And get ready because y'all I have a campaign that I need to finish shooting. I got an amazing opportunity with a brand to contact for them. I don't have to post it on Instagram, but it's so much content that they want. Like it's a, it's a lot that they're requiring. And with kids, there's no way you can do it in one day. So yesterday we shoot, we shot one part of it. And um, today we're gonna hopefully try to finish up or whatever. I just seen the shampoo on the floor. Um, we got a dog. We have a dog. We have a dog. And we just had a baby. Crazy. Where the drama, I know. But we got a dog a couple weeks ago, and here's your reminder to not purchase your dog from somebody you went to high school with. <laughs> this dog that Jay has been talking about having in his home since we were dating. Like, this is like his dream dog. My dream dog has always been a Labradoodle, and my sister actually ended up getting a Labradoodle. And then Jay's dream dog was a Husky. And um, I wasn't too fond of Huskies because of the hair. And if you know, I'm allergic to dogs. So yeah, ask me how I'm functioning with this dog. <laughs> but um, I wasn't too fond of the Husky. I don't, I don't know. Huskies just wasn't giving it to me, but whatever. And we got him, fell in love. Um, and then he took his first poop. And there was worms in it. I immediately got turned off from him. <laughs> I was so scared because I was just like, I don't need these type of problems. I don't mind taking care of a dog, taking him for walks, and no training and all these things. But sick? Sick? No. But long story short, this was like two weeks ago when we got him. It's been two weeks, about two and a half weeks since we've had him. We got him taken care of. We took him to the vet. He's slowly but surely getting his, um, getting rid of, rid of the worms and everything. He was diagnosed with hookworms and roundworms, I think, gross. They wanted him to come back in three weeks, which would be next week. So in those three weeks, he cannot get out the, like, hey, he can't just, like, play, roam around and just, you know, be free because uh, I believe it's roundworms. Roundworms are contagious and um, can, can, you know, do something to us. And... You know, the sound of that sounds disgusting for me. So he has stayed in the cage. The doctor was very, like, you know, adamant about, you know, trying to keep him as separate as possible from my kids, our, our living space. And we don't have a big old house or anything like that where he can just kind of ro roam around in one area. So he has a cage. Right now he's small. He's a baby. Um, his cage is huge. So his he just kind of stays in his cage area. Um, but I can't wait till next week because obviously he's not potty trained yet and we're trying to potty train him but it's hard because he also can't just go outside for walks because he has to get his last set of vaccines and until he gets that is when he can go on a walk and it's just we've only been able to just like take him to like little areas and you know he's he's a baby he's, he's two months old y'all he was born in november so he's still trying to figure out potty training and it's hard to potty train him when you kind of are restricted so we're just hoping next week when they retest him, he's cured of it. So he's, we're constantly, well, Jay, Jay is constantly washing the dog. And the shampoo is sitting here and it irritates me, but I'm not gonna complain because I'm not washing the dog. <laughs> it's like a baby. It's like, it's like a baby. Dog moms don't get carried away. It's like a baby. <laughs> Watching black history stuff really triggers me because sometimes you forget that we lived in a world like this once upon a time. And, um, it's just kind of like crazy that we lived in a world like this once upon a time. Like, like because I was black. That's crazy to me. Like, yeah, forehead is on 10 today. My skincare routine has been one point recently, y'all. Uh, the girls on Instagram talked me into Asha for punishing and pumping 
moisturizing y'all when I say I got like 14, 15 responses on Instagram about that and then I've been using this uh, SPF for about I want to say almost a year y'all because I received one in a, a PR package last year before Carter was born and then I've repurchased so it's been a minute I've been using that and it's like the best SPF to me it moisture It's moisturizing and uh, yeah. He lost some of his hair. <laughs> but he's a cutie. He's a hunk of boy. Yeah, you a hunk of. Hubba, hubba. Say hubba, hubba, car car. Say hi, guys. Say hi, guys. All right, y'all. It's like two hours later. And I got, I finished getting ready. Kids were doing school while I got ready. Look at, look at this. Look at this. This guy. This guy. This guy here with the ball head <laughs> puts everything that comes in sight in his mouth hey. everything tell them tell me tell them what you be doing hey. these are one of those days where you can't do it all i think a lot of times i think a lot of times us as moms which we, we want to be super mom and you know do everything at once and today happens to be a day where i have to shoot content um, for a brand and whatnot the kids still have to do school and I still have stuff to clean I have laundry to do later yeah I just can't get everything out and one of the things that I had to outsource today was breakfast because I just couldn't go cook like it would have taken me another 30 minutes to cook then clean up and then it would just been too much so outsource that breakfast girl I know we got food at home but it's okay release those shackles we will not be stressing ourselves out and trying to get it all done and trying to be like the perfect housewife because that's just not it's not realistic I'm part of the team I know basic I got this one at Target for only 10 bucks which was fine um but the girls influenced me I got a Stanley and I mean I'm not mad at it. because of breastfeeding I drink a lot of water and so I mean, it's something that I'm going to use. Yeah, this one cost $30 because it's only the 30 ounce. I didn't care for the 40 ounce and it was out of stock everywhere. Um, but I'm going to use it so it'll get its worth. Thank you. Crap. What is that? Oh. I think I'm going to go downstairs and work out. Carter's currently trying to. I wouldn't let him slobber. No. On the straw. And now he's eating my food. <laughs> Jay, look at Jay. He literally grabbed it straight out the bag. Give me my stuff. <laughs> Alright, you can have that piece. I'll give you it. i give you it. Here, here, here. Okay. I didn't send this into the brand because the pictures were so cute. I said, <laughs> I want them for myself. And I knew if I sent this to the brand, they kind of now own the rights to it. So they're going to be like, so I kept them for myself. <laughs> He's so cute. This was the first thing I had a C-section with him. Y'all know, watch the birth story. Um, you didn't post the birth story. I did. But that's why you shouldn't be in my business. <laughs> like, if I'm being honest. I might need to find me dinner to cook because, um, yeah, it's kind of late. If I eat lunch right now, we would have to eat dinner in like two hours, so I might as well just cook dinner. Um, Carter's taking a nap. The kids are playing. Yeah, let's go see what we can do for dinner and what we got going on. So my New Year's, one of my New Year's resolutions, and this is probably like one of the only New Year goals that is like solidified. Like I have no choice but to complete that this year. It's to eat better, girl. Like I'm just tired of being overweight. <laughs> and y'all, I had three kids, so I get it. I get it. Give yourself grace, but it's just time. It's just time. Um... Uh, Jay and I go back and forth all the time 
about whether let's see if this will work jay and i go back and forth all the time on whether or not we will we would have more kids or not and um either way if we do choose to have more kids i'm not having another kid at this weight um i have to lose the weight like that's a non-negotiable and i don't care that i'll gain it back like when the baby comes but i can't add on more weight to where wherever i'm at and god's willing i wouldn't gain it back y'all because my pregnancies with royce and carter were actually really good like i only gained 13 pounds with royce and i think i gained probably about the same around the same as royce but i think it's less i want to say more like 10 11 pounds with carter and that was obviously because i was sick so like i lost hella weight in the beginning and then only gain like 10 pounds after that um but yeah i'm not having no more kids at this weight and then if we don't choose to have more kids i don't want to like this forever i'm 26 i'm gonna be fine make burgers cheeseburgers but they like the healthy version so i have these sandwich things the kids still want mac and cheese so i'm gonna make them um honestly y'all I don't think we've had mac and cheese for like a year. I don't usually cook stuff like this. Like, I hate stuff like this. But I'm trying to simplify my life. So, at least I found the healthier, the more organic alternative. I think our breastfeeding day is. Why would. Okay. I think our breastfeeding journey is coming to an end. And, um. Yeah, it's coming to an end soon. Um, and I just want to be safe and not have to deal with a shortage or any of that. So, yeah, I have a frozen freezer stash that literally, if Carter, Carter's going to start eating more. So I, I don't want to say it's going to last until a year because once he starts eating more, it's probably not going to take him to a year, but it could possibly. But if not, yeah, um, we are doing Kenda meal because um heard great things about this it is a uk made formula it is not made here in the u.s and now ain't nothing wrong with u.s formula there's nothing wrong with u.s formula um i used u.s formulas for both the kids um but you live and you learn type of thing you know like I, i've lived and i've learned and i've seen some certain research and things like that and you know, my kids came out great, of course. <laughs> you know, my kids came out fine, obviously. They're, they're breathing. They got two arms, two legs, and two eyes. But now that I know certain things, I just want to do better, you know. And by the grace of God, I'm able to afford the better option. Well, honestly, y'all, it's about the same price. The only thing is Kenda Meal don't come in, like, smaller cans. So it only comes in bigger cans and um yeah like that's the only thing is like you have to buy the bigger can so you can't like cut it i know with the kids when i was a little broke uh we get the small cans and we'll be like okay this is gonna last us like a couple days or a week or whatever until the next check <laughs> but you don't got that option with kendall mill unfortunately um but i've heard great things about it and i just hope that when we do start fully doing it and everything like that that it just goes smoothly i don't need advice I don't. I don't need advice on why I should not quit. I don't need advice on why I should continue. I did what I had to do. I did my absolute best. My baby is happy. He is healthy. And now mommy wants to be happy. <laughs> it's so cute. Is this still morning, Mom? Are you gonna draw you some pants? <laughs> 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 yeah, let us catch a wave on us. Take a shot, make a friend, just enjoy the moment. A blue sky walking on these haters. Celebrate every day like a birthday. Yeah. Things come to those that wait us. Oh my 
my goodness. Y'all, let me tell you about y'all friend Carter. This man done learned how to crawl. And he thinks he can walk. He literally gets to the edge of the bed. This morning I caught him. He got off the bed. He was all the way in the middle. He got off the bed and he had one leg hanging down. This is what their lunch dinner is looking like. Because what? it's actually kind of late. So. It looks so good though. Yeah, Royce right wanted everything in it. Well, I don't even think Royce is going to eat it. Because honestly, he does not like meat. But he has... A turkey patty, avocado, bacon, and cheese. And then Malia just got avocado, I mean, turkey, bacon, cheese, because she doesn't want avocado in the burger. <laughs> so I know we kind of ghetto right now. We ordered Carter a high chair. It should be here soon. <laughs> but I don't want to risk getting the couch and stuff dirty, so I'd rather him eat on the floor. Here, Mom, can I have this? <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. And it's an easy cleanup. But I just gave him a little bit of the kids' mac and cheese um, and an avocado. And I think he likes it. Oh, no, no, no. Don't. You can't touch me with that. <laughs> like, good? Whoa, is it good? Is that yummy, Carter? Time is just moving so fast with Carter. Oh, my God. I'm getting beat up. <laughs> <laughs> Let go of my hair. Let go of my hair. She said, oh, oh that's why I saw it. Because you ain't got no hair. Don't be over here pulling on mine. <laughs> Time is moving so fast with Carter. I just... <laughs> it's not nice. <laughs> Time is just moving so fast with... <laughs> Eat your hair. Thomas just moving so fast <laughs> with Carter Supreme. I just can't. <laughs> y'all gotta see his face. He's like enjoying every bit of this. So y'all, for the last week, my neighbors, I don't know if it's from downstairs or next to us because there's nobody on top of us. So we're the highest floor. We're on the highest floor. All I hear is banging loud banging like it's scary and it's giving Jeffrey Dahmer I'm trying not to jump to conclusions but I mean at the wildest times and mostly at night I don't know who it's coming from though it just it sounds like it's below me but then sometimes it feels like it's next to me too I don't know I don't know. Y'all got some bad news. My husband just called me. He got to go into work tomorrow on his day off. I look pale too because I just took my makeup off. But dang. Dang. I planned for his days off. But praise God that it is an early shift. So he'll be home pretty early in the day. Um, probably right when we finish school. But I'm kind of sad about that. But I wanted to wrap this vlog up because I'm not going to do a, a weekly vlog uh, this time around. Um, simply because I want to see if there's a difference in performance. Um, I also want to see if this is easier for me. My YouTube views have actually been really impressive. Um, they have at least half of the following watching. If not, all of them sometimes. <laughs> so... That is really good and cool to me. I'm going to try to get um, a few vlogs. I'm not making any promises this year. We're done with promising. <laughs> We're done with promising. We're just going to do. And then when we do, you'll see. You know? So, I will see you guys in the next one. I love you guys so much. Remember, I know the new year is here. It's January. Everybody is making goals. Everybody is executing, which there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. But take time to seek the Father about your plans. Take time to repent for things that you did last year that you want you don't want in your life this year. Just take the time to see him, you know? To hear him, to listen to him, and just spend that quality time with him, girl. And I'm talking to myself because I need to go talk to him too because I'm so sad because my husband ain't gonna be home tomorrow. But, <laughs> but um, yeah guys, I love you guys and see you on the next one.